Spees comes in goal as his teammate takes the goal kick, dumps it forward, headed on by Bridgeport. Touch through, dangerous position here, Furby. Furby will put it in the back of the net, and Bridgeport has life with 2.16 remaining. Well, this is going to make for an interesting last couple of minutes, whether Bridgeport can throw some more bodies forward and really put Bird under pressure. But Bridgeport have just got to go for it now. There's no point hanging four defenders back in the in the uh, uh, defensive end of the field for them. They've just got to start throwing some fo players further forward. Yeah, Take a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Bridgeport's got to leave it all out there right now. The goal in the 78th minute gives Bridgeport a new dose of life, down 2-1. They've got to go for every single ball now. Well, you knew with these two rivals that it just didn't seem right that they could coast to a finish the way it appeared it was going to happen, and Bridgeport tried to make it more difficult. Can the Indians pull the equivalent of a Man City here? They've got 90 seconds to do it. One goal would force extra time. Far side of the pitch, Bridgeport has possession. Down 2-1. There's a cross to Furby. Furby settles it, has the touch, pushed off the ball by Robert C. Bird. That was dangerous for a moment. If Furby can get control a little bit earlier, he's got an opportunity. Contact outside, flag is up, and I think we're going to have a free kick from just outside the box. This is a very dangerous spot, too. It's just going to play like a corner if this is on RCB. And I think the referee, or the linesman, is signaling. The referee came over to hear what the call is. It was a push and an elbow. It is a free kick for Bridgeport. This is the last chance for Bridgeport here. They've got to make something happen. They've got to get players in the box. Under a minute. Plays it short. Red Jersey gets to it. Shot through. Spees Ooh. holds on to it right on the line. He makes a save, and that may be the game. That ball went through a lot of traffic. With well, just 35 seconds left, I would say th that RCB just kicks it down the field and Runs the clock off. Very important save there by Spees because that was a good effort there by Bridgeport to try and tie it up. 27 seconds left. Furby passes it. They've got a chance again. Top of the box. Shot. We're level. An equalizing goal for Bridgeport with 20 seconds left. It doesn't get any better than that. An unbelievable finish to this one. In the 79th minute, it is 2 all. Oh wow, I just written Bird off and they came back. I, excuse me, I just written Bridgeport off and they came back with two goals straight away. Unbelievable finish to this game. Wow, this is what a great way what a great way to end this game. I did not hear who got the goal, but it is equal. It is level with 20 seconds left. They score twice in a minute and a half. And we could be looking at extra time. And then possibly penalty kicks. The clock running, 20 seconds, or Bridgeport can score one more. They've got pressure in possession. Tanner Furby, top of the box, shot from distance. Oh, 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 Tanner Furby with 11 seconds left in the game, and Bridgeport leads it 3-2. to two. Now they've got to get in position. They can't get a card here for the celebration. There are just 11 seconds left, and Furby with an unbelievable shot. Bridgeport has shocked and stunned the Robert Seabird Flying Eagles who appeared to be cruising to a regional championship.